Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Freedom Federation Social 2.0 Network has now arrived. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, associate dean for the law school and vice president of Liberty Council Action. Matt, um, Freedom Federation is a federation of many leaders and organizations united around core values to advance those values across racial, ethnic, and generational lines. But also, Freedom Federation is a social networking platform that allows social networking like you have on Facebook. It allows uh, status updates like you'd have on Facebook or Twitter. It allows blogging, and most particularly, it provides for events where you can make events or attend events in your geographical or whatever area you choose. Um, It is connected with Facebook and Twitter. Uh, It is a great network, and I would encourage people to become part of the Freedom Federation social network. It's uh, freedomfederation.org is the website. And uh, you're right, Matt. I think one of the neatest features is the fact that your your Twitter feed, your your Facebook account can be connected. And uh, what do we have here? What's the slogan? One account to rule them all. That's right. Uh, <laughs> it, it can be all tied together. So as you, as you update your status on, on uh, Freedom Federation Social 2.0, it uh, likewise will update your Twitter feed. It can uh, update your Facebook status or vice versa. You can have them interconnected. Uh, a really neat kind of one-stop shopping, if you will, for your social networking and a really, really cool feature. Well, in fact, at the bottom, we have uh, the Facebook logo plus the Twitter uh, logo. Uh, and what that really means is that when you update your status on Freedom Federation, it goes directly to Facebook and Twitter. And when you update your status or send a message on Twitter, it comes back to Freedom Federation. Or if you update your status on Freedom Federation or post a photograph or change your status, whatever you do, it also comes back to Freedom Federation. So it goes both ways. You can post on Freedom Federation. It goes to the others. And you can post on the others, and it comes to Freedom Federation. And uh, the neat thing about this is that You know, Facebook, for example, you have all kinds of friends. Some of them want to throw a pillow at you or some silly thing and (laughs) clog up your email. Um, That's not what we have in uh, Freedom Federation. These are people who are conservative. I don't think you ever do that on Facebook. I I, I don't. I have not thrown a pillow at (laughs) anyone. But in Freedom Federation, uh, these are people that are united around core values. I would encourage people, you can go into it in one of two ways directly to freedomfederation.org, freedomfederation.org, and sign up for your uh, free account. Or you can go to lc.org, lc.org. And on the lc.org webpage, you have the Freedom Federation icon. You can go in through there as well and sign up as well. Organizations can also sign up. There's ways for you to um, to do that. And uh, so this is available for anybody to do. But the great thing about it, Matt, is you can... Uh, right now, I've got my uh, iPhone... And I have a Freedom Federation icon on my iPhone. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is click it, and I have all the social network feeds. I can um, read those feeds. I can post a, a comment. But most importantly, I can hit the events category. Mm-hmm. And right now on my events, it has Women Impacting the Nation. It's got um, CEF Spring Banquet, NACFC's God's Money, NRA uh, Annual Meeting and Exhibit. Uh, California College Republicans, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, It goes on down through all of these different events. Chronologically, uh, I can click on them and find out more about them. This is uh, Mark uh, Williams to speak at the Arden Arcade Rotary Club. Uh, And so that's going to be something of a conservative nature. He's talking about the Tea Party 101 and beyond. So I didn't know that that event existed, uh, but it's coming up in a few days. Now I can plug into it. I can send it to my friends. Uh, I can create my own event, and you can network right down to your local street, your precinct level. Well, and it's connected to your GPS device, correct? So it actually uh, tells you events in your area. Right now it's connected to whatever zip code you want to put in there. Okay. 
Uh, but we're getting ready to put in the GPS oper- uh, six, uh, device, and that means that uh, you can take your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android-based phone, any smartphone, you can take it and uh, turn on your GPS, and it'll find out where you are, and it'll pull up all the events in that geographical location. And you can set the parameters uh, regarding the events. You can say, I want the events over the next 30 days, and I want all the events within 25 miles of where I am. Uh, so you can go from one mile to 200 miles, uh, whatever you want to do. One day, one week, uh, a year, 30 days, whatever it is you want to set as your parameter, it'll then pull those events up. You can also choose what kind of events you want. If you want to have all the events that are of a conservative nature, that will come up. If you only want to find pro-life events that are in your geographical region, those will come up as well. Or Bible study events, which we have listed under prayer. Those will uh, come up. So you can be very specific. You can have all of them. You can set the parameters. You can set the length of time. Uh, It is a very unique, uh, capable instrument. Uh, Very, very neat. Now, Matt, one of the features, part of the Freedom Federation, going back to the Freedom Federation for a moment, was the awakening. Uh, We just had the awakening 2011 here at Liberty University School of uh, School, uh, Liberty University on the campus of Liberty University in Lynchburg, uh, we're going to continue to have a- awakening events, smaller awakening events, and the kind of the larger annual awakening event. We're going to be working on an, on an awakening 2012. I know that uh, through the Freedom Federation, through Liberty Council, and our connections, we've got some events coming up in June, for instance. Um, in in Florida, what are those events? Yes, those are one day events uh, that we will have around the country. We've had some in Florida, some in uh, South Carolina. Uh, those are uh, a one day event. They're about three hours long, and they're called Awake, whatever state it is. So it may be Florida Awake, South Carolina Awake, whatever state we're talking about. And uh, that's where we have uh, David Barton or uh, Rick Green from Wall Builders come in. They talk about the historical founding fathers uh, and the history of America and the Revolution. Uh, I'll speak. We have music and uh, singing and celebration. Uh, But it's a very um, powerful, packed uh, evening. Uh, One of them that's coming up uh, soon is going to be in Naples, Florida. And we're expecting a couple of thousand people just for that uh, one event. Uh, Tickets are available uh, for that as well. You can go to uh, Liberty Council's website, lc.org, and uh, ask for the Awake events. Uh, There also should be posted right there on the website. And uh, you can call 1-800-671-1776. But we're going to have these in different places around the country. Uh, We've got that one uh, that's on the agenda. Uh, We have others coming up. If you're interested in in, uh, an event in your area, give us a call. Matt, now the going back again to the Freedom Federation for a moment, there was a time when when the pro family movement seemed to be centered around some very large personalities, uh, you know, like Jerry Falwell, Dr. James Dobson, uh, Dr. D. James Kennedy. More and more, it seems that uh, a number of these organizations are coming together, not so much personality based, but issues oriented. And the Freedom Federation continues to grow with uh, dozens and dozens of organizations, big, major uh, pro-family organizations coming together to create this this network of communication and cooperation. What are some of the some of the larger organizations that are affiliated with the the Freedom Federation? Well, one of the large organizations we have a number of them is the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference. They have thirty four thousand. Sam Rodriguez. Sam Rodriguez mm-hmm. is the president. Thirty four thousand. Uh, evangelical Hispanic churches, uh, soon they will be over 40,000. Uh, in the next few months, they'll probably be larger than the National Association of Evangelicals, making them the largest evangelical organization of any uh, church organization in the country, indeed in the world. And uh, they have over 18 million people that they represent. These are uh, Bible-believing, uh, born-again Christians that are uh, have conservative values. They're pro-life, pro-marriage, pro-liberty, uh, they love America, uh, so that's one of them. We also have the American Association of Christian Counselors. It's the uh, largest Christian counseling organization in the world with 50,000 active members. We have uh, Teen Mania, which is the largest uh, outreach to teenagers uh, in the country. Uh, we have other organizations as well. Liberty Council, Liberty Council Action um, are part of that as well. 
Family Research mm-hmm. Council, uh, Focus on the Family. Others are part of the Freedom Federation. So a lot of these organizations uh, come together. Uh, and the, the unique thing about the Freedom Federation is we're really trying to advance our core values across race, ethnic, and generational lines. Here's what I encourage you to do. Go to freedomfederation.org to sign up uh, for this or lc.org. Also, if you have a smartphone, type in M before Freedom Federation, M dot freedomfederation.org and make this a part of your iPhone or smartphone application. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.